Chapter Forty Two, The Modern Genesis. Tao gave birth to one. One gave birth to two. Two gave birth to three, and three gave birth to all things. All things carry yin and embrace yang. They achieve harmony by combining these forces. People detest being alone, lacking, and unworthy. Yet, these were the terms lords and kings used. To refer to themselves, therefore things gain by losing, and lose by gaining. What the sages taught, I also teach. The violent do not die in peace. This is my fundamental teaching. Revelation chapter forty-two. How does everything in reality come into being? Tao, the noumenon of universe, the emptiness, contains infinite amounts of mighty energy. From this emptiness, the space, infinitesimal particles evolve into being, instantaneously. Regardless of how tiny they are. They are present in a pair of yin and yang at the same time. This was proven in the latest scientific study of the physics of nothing. Infinitesimal particles form atom and molecule, which evolve into enormous nebulae, and gradually the Milky Way galaxy and solar system are born. All are evolved from Tao. With the nurturing of the sun, the earth, and the emptiness, life forms such as plants, animals, and many other things began to emerge. All things possess yin and yang attributes, like female and male, and both are present at the same time. A good example is the veins in our bodies; they are yin meridians and yang meridians. The qi in our bodies has yang attributes, and blood has yin attributes. Whether yin or yang, it requires the invisible energy from Tao to fill the body in order for it to sustain and function harmoniously. The law of nature maintains the dynamic and harmonious balance of all things through the principle of allelopathy, mutual reinforcement. And mutual restraint. So, if a single element species is too strong, nature will produce a counterbalance. Likewise, if a single element is too weak, nature will produce a force to assist in achieving a dynamic balance. These are the truth, the reality, the operational law of the universe. That those who understand Tao will teach the world. I will also teach the world of what I have learned. All those who are arrogant and brutal will face serious consequences, which are what they ask for if they behave against the way of Tao. I will assist human beings to understand Tao and the eternal law of nature. In order to assist in following the way of Tao.